need a sip first. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Um, I want to have a little chat and then I will show you everything that I ate yesterday um, for a what I eat in a day to have a healthy relationship with food. I know everybody's different. This is just what I do and what I've done for the last um, year to create a really good relationship with food. So for most of my teens and my early 20s, I didn't have a full on like eating disorder, but I definitely had disorder tendencies towards food and just an unhealthy relationship with food. I would always overeat like basically every single meal um, I would eat until I was uncomfortable and even then I would want more. I just was never satisfied. I found the foods that I was eating really overstimulating and I would always be thinking about food and planning my day around food. It kind of just ran my life. I think this was due to just not getting enough nutrients. As for calories, I was definitely getting enough because I wasn't underweight I just wasn't getting enough nutrients and so my body wanted more to satisfy those needs um, so once I started eating more nutrient dense foods and eating a little bit healthier less processed foods I really really noticed my relationship with food start to change um, and I can honestly say now I do feel like I have a really good relationship with food. I'm not constantly thinking about it. It's very rare that I overeat to the point of being uncomfortable. Um, and yeah, I'm just really grateful for being at this place with food. I started eating high raw, low fat, um, simple meals kind of to heal my digestion and my skin more. And then just having a good relationship with food was another <clears throat> great side effect. So not having like guilt around food is really amazing. I don't think we should feel guilty ever after we eat a meal and I'm just really happy to be at this place. I used to want to eat something that I would think was a little bit more unhealthy or even just a regular meal. I would eat it, I would overeat, I'd be really uncomfortable, I would know that it is hurting me, it's hurting my digestion which already was <laughs> pretty weak so that was not helping um, and then to top it off I would feel really guilty afterwards especially if I ate something more processed or if I ate late at night I would just know it's not good for me and I would feel it and then feel immense guilt afterwards. So just not feeling that guilt is probably for me personally the best part of eating like this. Um, I just feel really happy with everything that I eat. I know it's fueling my body. I know it's good for me and I just feel great. So if you're new here, I have a lot of what I eat in a days. If you're interested and want to go watch those for some more ideas. Um, and if you are not new here, then you know <laughs> and you know how I eat. So yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about this because I know some people might also struggle with overeating and food addictions. And I just want to share what has worked with for me because I am really, really thankful for it. I cannot talk highly enough about this way of eating and this lifestyle and diet. So anyways, if you have more questions about this topic, let me know. Um, I'd love to chat about it. Or if you want, you can DM me on Instagram. I'll post my Instagram below as well. Um, and yeah. Just want to let you know I am here for you if this is something that you are struggling with as well or have struggled with in the past. I just want you to know it won't always be like this and there's definitely ways to heal from overeating. I didn't think, I didn't know if I would ever 
heal from it and here I am saying that I am like probably 97% healed from overeating and food addictions. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I eat in a day, give you some examples of meals that I eat to have a healthy relationship with food. So I will just narrate that now and I just want to say thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it and we'll see you again soon. Starting off my day with fresh lemon, squeeze into a big glass of water like I do every single morning. Then half an hour after this, I made a celery juice. I try to do this three to four times a week. And I'll usually have about 16 to 32 ounces of just straight celery juice. And then I always wait half an hour before I consume anything else after that. So then I also had a cold pressed organic orange juice from the other day. I love orange juice. So good. For lunch, I made banana ice cream. I wanted to try a new recipe that was caramel apple banana ice cream. So I just topped or I just chopped up some fruit and put frozen bananas in my blender. And then I also juiced an apple earlier that I threw in here for the apple flavor and three dates. And then I blended that up nice and smooth. I love the creamy texture of banana ice cream. One of my favorite meals ever. And then I just topped it with banana, apple, my date paste, which was just dates, and water blended. I thought it would drizzle a lot nicer than it did, <laughs> but oh well. Still tasted unreal. And then I topped it with some cinnamon and a little splash of maple syrup. I have the biggest sweet tooth, if you didn't know. And it was amazing. Then later on for a snack, I just had four of these beautiful ripe bananas. And for dinner, I had a big bowl with spinach, sweet potatoes, cucumber, and nori. And I just throw all the ingredients into the nori and eat them as little wraps. And that was everything that I ate.